You ready to mount up? Let's dive into steel. Let's dive into steel. That sounds painful. Time to talk about steel books and rest in peace Best Buy because a lot of these are Best Buy exclusives that you can hopefully still get. Maybe not. So regulators, time to mount up, time to talk about some steel books, time to jump in. We have a bunch of steel books to talk about, hopefully some ones that are going to get you guys excited. Ones that I'm actually really excited about. I'm talking about young guns. Regulators, we regulate any stealing of his property. We're damn good too, but you can't be any geek off the street. Got to be handy with the steel if you know what I mean, earn your keep. It was a clear black night, a clear white moon, Warren G was on the streets trying to consume... Time to get the 4K of Young Guns. Take a look at this, Russ. Let me show you something here. This is a special edition from Artisan DVD. Remember Artisan? We got bullet holes on the front. Oh, that's tough. We got bullet holes. We got bullet holes on this Young Guns, and we got all the characters on the inside, and this is coming out December 5th. 4K Ultra HD from Lionsgate in its 35th anniversary. How many Young Guns fans are there out there? This film is arriving in a Best Buy exclusive steal as well as a regular edition. And I want to talk about both editions here. I know you've pre-ordered one. I've pre-ordered one. So we've got a new 4K restoration of the film. We've got a new Dolby Atmos track and a new stereo mix. A new making of Young Guns featurette with new cast and crew interviews. It doesn't say who, but they are coming back to talk about Young Guns. That's pretty cool. Audio commentary with Dirty Steve, (laughs) Chavez, and Charlie. As someone who's never seen Young Guns and has no context, I just want all films to have a commentary with Dirty Steve. Dirty Steve. But he's coming in there. Casey Semesco, he's in there doing audio commentary also. Famous from 3 O'Clock High. Who remembers 3 O'Clock High? It means nothing to me. Also, Billy the Kid, the true story. I'm tired of all the bullshit stories about Billy the Kid. Me too. I'm ready for the true one. In a rare occurrence here, the Steelbook itself is coming with some art cards. So you, Best you Buy's out. really outdone themselves. Best Buy's going out with a bang. It's time for the regulators to mount up. Uh, you've never seen this movie, but you pre-ordered it. Is that I've correct? Seen, yes, I've seen parts when I was a child, but not enough to even fake that I've seen it. I'm super excited for this. I went with the regular. I don't like that at all. Here's my problem. I think the illustration here is really, really good. The only one I have a problem with is Emilio Estevez. I think he looks jacked up in that illustration. The steel book, I think the steel book itself looks nice. It's that like burnt orangey kind of a look or whatever. But again, maybe it'll look different in, in person, but I don't think he looks that great there either. So I'm like, Billy the Kid on a steel that kind of looks okay, or a regular where he's jacked, but everyone else looks great. Like every other illustration there, they look spot on. What I associate the film with is the 1980s and it's a Western and that cover you like where your only complaint is that Estevez is jacked. That looks like 310 to Yuma or something to me. It looks too slick and mm-hmm. modern. It, it doesn't give me any vibe of what I think the movie is. <laughs> This. This yes, is the movie. That that gives me a vibe of the movie. This looks like one of those old timey pictures you would take on the board. Yes, block. that's what I'm talking that's, about. That's and that's, that's what this is. This is the original art. This movie is a ton of fun. It's it still is. This movie to me is like peak Emilio Estevez. Like when I think of Emilio Estevez at all, this is what I think of. He's got that energy, that Estevez like energy yeah. in this movie that's just no, like I do too. I, full I, on display. And I think it's our age. I, I think this, I think Free Jack, I think Men at Work. I, 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 Wisdom. I like- Emilio Estevez looks like he's having the time of his life in this movie. And I would say kind of the same way, maybe in like a Men at Work. Like, it just seems like he's having a great time. It's just like a ton of energy. It's just yeah, a ton of energy. Yeah, yeah. That laugh, that classic laugh, he's laughing at everything. I don't know who else is buying this steel out there. Let us know. Can can we get a quick understanding of if, did one, anyone pre-order this? Two, which version did you pre-order? No love for this movie I'm hearing in the comments. That's really depressing. Okay. Shit, you don't even know why I'm here. Hell yeah, Young Guns, New Metal Ricky. Okay, Ricky. So we, got, we got somebody out there. If you all didn't like Young Guns... Wait till you hear about the fugitive in 4K. <laughs> That's supposed to be a bad thing. So the fugitive in 4K sucks. 100 <laughs> year anniversary Warner Brothers. As I mentioned to you, I watched Natural Born Killers for the first time last night, and Tommy Lee Jones in that is incredible. And I thought about him in this. The first movie I ever even saw Tommy Lee Jones in was Under Siege. You know? 
regular edition, steelbook edition. The steelbook edition, correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like some like Hitchcock shit or something. This looks like rope. Uh, I, I do like I do like The Fugitive. This movie blows, dude. I don't want to talk about this shit. There's like a weird soft spot I have oh. for 90s Harrison Ford, obviously, as you know. Harrison Ford doesn't even have a soft spot for 90s Harrison Ford. He is so miserable in this movie and in everything he does. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. And I love Harrison Ford, but like in every 90s Harrison Ford movie, it's like the definition of a guy who just doesn't want to be at his job. You mean like the yes. clear and present danger? He's giving the same face, dude. Look at every cover he has. It's the same face on every one. Slightly constipated, and I don't want to be here today. This is a Steelbook segment. You want to know what Steelbooks are coming out? You want to know what Best Buy is taking from us? They're taking the Fugitive in 4K away. <laughs> Don't try and be funny. But what about Russ' love for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which is also getting a steelbook? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't see this movie. I will never see this movie. I love The Fugitive, and I will never watch this. And I don't hate The Fugitive. It's just boring and dull. I know it. I don't know, dude. Rumor on the street is this is the movie that made Best Buy quit physical media. Harrison Ford looks like he has Bell's palsy on this cover. Like his face is like, he's, is he having a stroke? What's happening to him on this cover? But what's obnoxious about this release is what I wanted to bring up. You've got those lovely steel books and they're beautiful. Black, they look great. Even the Crystal Skull, which you don't own and that's fine. Original poster art. For whatever reason, they're putting out a steel book that does not match in any way, shape, or form those other ones. It is Indiana Jones's hat over top of this dial. It messes up the whole vibe, the whole flow. Why would you do that? What are you thinking? Complete your Indiana Jones steelbook collection with one sore thumb. Mine's been complete. Right. Moving on to the hottest film of the summer, and not Barbie, but I'm talking Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is coming out in a steelbook November the 21st. We did a Barbenheimer review. Uh, nobody really watched that. And this is arriving for the first time in 4K and Blu-ray and a steelbook. I would go steel all the way. The regular is the original poster art, but that steelbook is also that poster art that you saw where he's just like standing in the bomb. That's pretty bad. Dude, it's awesome. For a steelbook, that kicks ass. Not to mention, but this release is stacked. Thank you, Christopher Nolan, 4K, HDR, aspect ratio shift, all that kind of stuff as far as the presentation's concerned. There's a making of documentary, and then there are nine thorough featurettes covering literally every aspect of the creation of this movie, everything. Nolan is a 4K king. I remember when we talked about it, I said that I probably wasn't gonna go out and pick this up. But what I will say, Russ, the Best Buy exclusive steelbook, Russ, you ready for this? It's already sold out. It was God's will. How many scalpers picked that up? Oh, that, I well, guarantee if I went to eBay, it's all over there. God damn it. I, I wanted know. to pick this up. As soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, that steel's so great. And then instantly I saw, oh, sold out already. This bums me out, though, because at the time when we recorded our segment, I didn't get to see it yet. I saw it shortly after. Dude, I adore it. I, I think it's, in, in my opinion, it may be his best film. This story uniquely doesn't leave you with anything too comfortable. I've never seen The Prestige, and I've never seen Interstellar. Ooh, okay, let's let's hold on. Let's let that simmer. Those are two big ones Biggins. for him, I know. I think it's pretty easily better than all of his other ones that I've seen. With Interstellar, it was more of the length, and it was more of even Nolan fans. I know now it's kind of getting some revisionist love, and I consider it revisionist, because I remember when Interstellar came out, even Nolan fanboys were divided on it. And I remember thinking, well, fuck, if the Nolan fanboys are divided, I'm probably not going to care. We've had already had a video about the length of movies. Interstellar is a fairly long movie. When I watched it the first time, I watched it in two sittings. I'm so, I was so glad that I watched it, but I was exactly how you just said. Like I was like kind of on the fence. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is, and why I think this community likes it, and why I have also continued to go back to it, is the 4K of it is like reference quality disc. It is like one of the most beautiful 4Ks ever put out, and I think you see that more talked about now as it's come home to physical media, that people are now championing it and celebrating it for it being so great to look at and then they revisit the story and they're like wow this movie probably is better than maybe i remember if you want to check out me talk about oppenheimer check out our Barben our barbenheimer review this was a really excellent movie 
a fantastic release. Thank you, Christopher Nolan. You truly are a 4K king. The next Steelbook, Russ, and just a quick brief mention, and I again, I, I say this about all these. I just want to talk about one quick thing. So stand by me. This is a Sony Steel. This is coming out December 5th. 4K Ultra HD from Sony, a company who will not let me down the way that Best Buy did. And this was already released in 4K back in like 2019. And now they're getting that original art steel, which is always a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Everything here is the exact same, but this one says with Dolby Vision. I have seen that before where things get re-released and the HDR gets upgraded to Dolby Vision. It doesn't mention that here as like being like a big selling point. So I don't know if maybe the other listing is just wrong. If you haven't gotten this before and you want that Dolby Vision experience, this looks like the one to get. Oh, so fuck anyway. I do love the art and I've never owned it. So um, I'm on the fence. I might. Here's my collector's edition of Stand By Me that I once owned on DVD. It's right here. And I'm going to pick up that 4K. I'm going to upgrade, Russ, because that's the steelbook right there. And I don't want this stuff to sell out. I don't want this yeah, to be the next I Oppenheimer. I, I know. <laughs> it's war now that Best Buy declared it. I mean, now I got to buy everything. This is one of those movies, though, I take for granted, if I have to be honest. It's True. one of those films. It's like, am I going to pop this on if I own it? Eh, probably not. Why don't you go home and fuck your mother some more? When it came out, my mom wouldn't let me watch it because there were children in it that were swearing. And to her, that was like no good. Like I watched plenty of movies with people swearing, plenty. But because it was kids swearing, I think she thought like, oh no, like I can't have him watching that. And forever, all I wanted to do was watch it. I like saw it in the distance kind of a thing. Oh, it's no. like, it's there, I see it's on TV, it's a she commercial. Just, she made your interest. Just I was like, I want it. So much by making it to Abu, it, it, the interest really, grew exponentially. I think when I actually sat down to watch it, the cussing part almost like didn't even phase me. The movie itself like really drew me in and I was like compelled yeah. by the story and everything that was going on. When you're a kid, this stuff just like flies by you. Like you don't even pay attention to like some of this innuendo and weird stuff. You just like remember certain things that really stick with you. I don't know. Dan Aykroyd got a blowjob in Ghostbusters. And I never knew. Well, that's Stand By Me in 4K and that is coming out on, uh, what did I say, December 5th. Elf! In time for the holiday season. I know that there's a lot of Elf fans out there. Let me know in the in the audience if there are. This has never been, for me, a holiday movie that I really cared too much about. I never even saw it. It's not until my family showed it to me that I watched it, and I was like, okay, I, this was a sweet movie. It's enjoyable, but it's just not one of those ones that like ticks all the boxes for me when it comes to holiday stuff. Did you hear that? Zavi and Warner Brothers, in their 100th anniversary, has decided to put out a steelbook of Elf. Not only is Warner Brothers putting this out in the UK, but they're also putting it in a collector's edition through Zavi that's getting all the bells and whistles that everyone knows and loves that Zavi does. I had the same experience as you did. I didn't watch it when it came out, and I was kind of forced to by family at some point. And I had Forced same, to by family? I, I didn't say forced, Russ. I said I went into I had it the same experience. willingly. I will say this. I always thought the first half is really good and then it falls apart completely i think it turns into a weird ass action movie in the end of it yeah and i was like you guys clearly had no idea where to go with this and feral you know i've always had a love hate thing with that's him. what i was just about can, to say he can grade on me very easily this character grades he, on my nerves yes, a little yes, bit it's it, like it, a little too, too much yelling just too much. too much like and i yes. like will ferrell comedy even when it's not pg or kid friendly and he's got a way about him that just can come across as funny but this character to yes, me is just a I agree. little too over the top it for is. me I, I can't do anything right it's a steel book it's nice it slides into this outer box and it's got all this basically a ton of paper you're getting like a double sided poster you're getting art cards storybook cards character cards a postcard and then, of course, the rigid slip case, which I think that box doesn't look that great. Will Farrell's name is spelled wrong on the case. Can you believe it? Well, if that's the case, I am pre-ordering this because this will be a collector's True. Game. Limited yeah. to 2000 globally. Guess what? It's sold out. Why don't you go home and fuck your mother some more? The Steelbook Solo and the Collector's Edition sold out. What am I going to do now, man? Anyway, Elf, for those of you that wanted it, did anybody get Elf out there? Does anybody care about Elf? To wrap up this Steelbook segment, Russ, I wanted to shout out just one other quick release that I felt like was fantastic and I slept on it. That is Memento. We talked about uh, Christopher Nolan and British label 101 Films. They they do some collector's editions here and there that I've seen. Howard the Duck is one. They are putting out a, a Blu-ray. That is the only thing that is sort of like the, kind of sticking in my craw a little bit. It is a limited edition Steelbook 
and a regular release, but the limited edition steelbook is coming in a deluxe treatment and it's coming with a ton of new stuff, which is really interesting to me. There's six new interviews, including with Nolan, including with producers, a composer, a writer, Carrie Ann Moss came back. There's the chronological cut of Memento, the original cut of Memento, a bunch of other featurettes. It's just such an awesome amount of things to put out for Memento, which is not already there. This wasn't included in the 4K Nolan set. This has only ever been originally on blue, so you've never gotten this in 4K. But this collection here looks so awesome. Now, when you look at what you're getting, look at this steelbook, dude. This steelbook is awesome, first of all. This box set is made up of Polaroids. All of these little things that you're getting, you're getting like replica um, Polaroids, you're getting little notes that he wrote, all these booklets. In general, it looks real classy. I don't know if anyone out there got this. This is one of my favorite Nolan films. I know we talked about Nolan for a second. Like you said, it's very fresh, but also raw. It feels very like like unpolished, but like in a good way, you know, it's, it's such a, like a cool idea that was executed in such a really fresh I, it way. It feels unpolished for Nolan yeah. in comparison to what we've seen Nolan done. Yeah. It didn't feel unpolished when it came out. The only reason I slept on this when I saw it announced was because it was Blu-ray and now it's sold out and I'm sad that I don't have it. I saw Isn't that it. the worst? Yeah. <laughs> I saw it was announced, but I forgot about it 15 minutes later. Maybe I'll take a photograph to remind myself. Is there any Memento fans out there? Did anyone else put, pick up this Memento edition? Does anyone like this Memento edition? I feel like it looks awesome. No comments on it. Okay. Well, nobody's perfect. It's out now, actually. It came out yesterday. The, the original version or the regular version is going to come out, I think, in two weeks. It looks like a nice little box. I'd like to see what their um, editions like this look like. I've never seen something like this. I that do like that like box. Yeah, I, it's the cool. steel book isn't blowing me away, but I like, okay, the, Russ. I like the Polaroid box. Well, that is the steel book news, Russ. That is the steel book news. I'm not lying. Take my pen. Write this down. <laughs>